Hello everyone, I'm Gold Ranger today, and this is my top five worst movie remakes ever. Number five, The Mummy. Directed by Alex Klutz, Klutzman. And uh, our, this was the recent 2007 movie. It had Tom Cruise in it. Uh, I will admit I enjoyed the action, but I feel like they should have got Brendan Fraser to do it. He's a great actor. To me, Tom Cruise is a horrible actor. He can do his own stunts, yeah, but it's like, it was so confusing in the movie, the way they had the plot unfold, the way they uh, were describing stuff. I, I, it was still action-y, but I feel like they were trying to hide remakes into other remakes. My question is, why do they have Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde in the movie? And then it clicked me, oh, hey, let's... Let's sneak a peek of trying to remake League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Yeah, let's screw that up. Four is Halloween 2. They're like, wait, why Halloween 2? Well, I like the original Halloween, but Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 was just horrible. Don't get me wrong, the first one he did was okay. The 2009 Halloween, directed by Rob Zombie, written by Rob Zombie. I felt like, yeah, they were going to analyze his mental state. It's just like, to me the movie was just confusing. You're telling a backstory, but where's all the killing and hack and slashing? You know what I mean? I mean, it's a Halloween movie. Yeah, you gave us a little backstory, but it was confusing as fuck as the movie progressed. Now, I'm probably going to get some hate for this if people like it. Yes, you like it. I like the classic Halloween movies. They're great. This it just felt like Rob Zombie should have just gone back to music rather than, you know, making movies. Don't get me wrong, House of Thousand Corp was great. And what was that other one? Oh, Devil's Rejects. Devil's Rejects was a good movie. But him trying to reboot a movie like this? No. No. That that was not good, and that, that's why it's going to be at number four. I'm in number three. This is one of my favorites, but sadly, it is horrible. Nightmare on Elm Street, directed by Samuel Bayer. Now, here's the thing. This is the 2010. Um, I'm sorry, two. Yeah, 2010, Nightmare on Elm Street. I love the original, but they barely showed Freddy. And I'm like, you can't hide Freddy from his own movie. I have owned the entire collection of Nightmare on Elm Street. I love what they did. This, you cannot get some actor to play Freddy. The true and one and only true actor is Robert England, the true Freddy Cougar. This guy, this guy, I think, what was his name? Um, da, 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 da. I will look that up later because I cannot find it, but... Uh, the plot was weird. It took forever to explain why Freddy's here. And it... It just felt like it was just a bad movie. I mean, a classic movie. They even did the same thing with uh, Friday the 13th. I mean, shit. Why did Jason not kill this girl yet? Plot thing is, it was still good hack and slash with Jason, but this, it just felt like, oh, we have to exploit the plot. I've seen it on AMC. I watch it on the Halloween uh, night, and I'm just like, this is just boring. I want to get have a, I want to watch a movie that drags me into something. This. This ain't it. Number two, Robocop. Now, the remake of Robocop wasn't a bad movie. I like the new ultra look of it, but I'm at degree with a fan. It 
tried too hard. I mean, yeah, there was a lot of action and uh, and whatnot. It was directed by Joseph Palatine. Oh boy, I can't do it. it it's really hard for me to explain Robocop. It, it's the 2014. Not that long. I thought it was great, but I just felt like it should have been, like I said again, it shouldn't have been one of those movies that should have been remade because Hollywood got their grubby little hands on it and just like, oh, hey, let me uh, let me remake this because we're running out of ideas. I mean, yeah, the chase scene was pretty cool. Uh, it's just like seeing the whole like, oh, hey, we're going to turn them evil kind of thing. I mean, hell, Robocop had their own, his own cartoon back in the 80s. I mean, like I said, it's hard for me to explain RoboCop. I mean, it wasn't very bad. It was just... It, it, to me, I still find it was as a worst movie to be remade. And that's at number two. Number one! Everybody buckle up. July 5th, uh, 15th, uh, 2016, Ghostbusters! I have nothing wrong with all female cast. I mean, hell, you have Melissa Cartney, you have Christian Wiig, but you have half the cast from Saturday Night Live, the girls from Saturday Night Live. I feel like when they did the gender swap to the whole Ghostbuster things, I guess people were okay with the female cast? Or were they just, tr again, trying too hard to please the audience? Or were they going off story because they had a male secretary? And, yeah, they had the funny jokes when they designed the little ghost with boobs. Which I, I thought that was fucking clever as hell. This was directed by Paula Thing, if I can pronounce that goddamn name. I mean, I like Ghostbusters. Again, <laughs> back in the day, they had their own cartoon. <sighs> this was at number one, probably, like, the worst remakes Hollywood can ever ever make. I don't know if it was probably the female cast. I probably should have done better research on this. But talking to with some friends when the podcast will go up sooner or later, we all agreed this w wasn't really a good movie to remake. And that's going to be at number one. If you like my list, guys, tell me if you have a suggestion in general. If you don't, I mean, hey, that's cool. We all don't like a lot of movies. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all the fun things. And I'll see you on the next Top 5. Later.